Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for the Sun or the Ascendant for week commencing the 29th of March. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be delighted if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one consultation with me, please see the link below where you can check out my testimonials. If you'd like to embrace more serious astrology in an affordable way, go beyond your zodiac sign based on your time, date and place of birth, please check out my special offer 12-month forecast and character analysis combination, which is 30% off and the link is also below. Hello Cancer and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 29th of March. We're all grappling with the energy of last week's full moon. For you, the moon itself was in your sector of home and emotions, whereas Venus, close to the sun, was in a very visible part of your situation. So if you are trying to realign something around your work and your home situation, or your uh, more physical worldly involvement around uh, family issues and stuff like that, I think the fact that Venus is so prominent on that full moon and in its conjunction with the sun this week is actually something that just points towards grace. Now, grace is something that might not be a popular concept in this frenetic world we live in. But if you can extend your grace, your trust, not necessarily affection, but just a sense of dignity around the things that you're trying to achieve in the goals section of your life, but just stay in touch with how you feel about it, I do feel that you can make progress. Now, also the Sun and Venus are forging a delightful angle to Saturn. Now, we don't usually use the word delightful in relation to Saturn, do we? But Saturn's in the part of your horoscope to do with where you're most deeply invested. It could be a business, it could be a financial interest you have. It could be a very deep relationship. So the 10th house energy of the Sun and Venus, which is giving you this opportunity to draw goodness to you in that worldly interaction, is given greater robustness by the stabilizing energy of Saturn around, yeah, things like long-term finances. So some progress around those areas. If you're in business, if you work for yourself, around a property matter, there can be a step forwards. However, Mercury, the planet of uh, travel, the planet of communication, the planet of talk and thought, is in a conjunction with Neptune in the early parts of this week. So if you are thinking about contracts, there could be some confusion. If you are planning to apply to a higher education institution, for example, it may seem very inspiring to do so, but you need to stay aware of the facts and figures. Now, there is a quarter moon later this week in the sign of uh, Capricorn. Now, for you, that's your opposite sign. So this is the seventh house and the sun is in the tenth. So even when you're interacting with those in positions of influence, you still need to be conscious of who holds the levers of power. But Mercury moves at the end of this week into the sign of Aries. And if you do need to think about retraining, uh, attend uh, some kind of online lecture, uh, talk to your boss about your prospects, apply for a job, I think it could be a critical and seminal moment as this week draws to a close and you're making your way deeper into April. I think the things that you've hoped will happen for some while really can start to gain traction.